What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. I hope everybody's having a fabulous Friday. We're gonna take a look at the charts, starting off with Bitcoin, moving on to Litecoin. But before that, I wanna remind you guys, there's a free Discord group in the description below the video. Definitely check it out. Great crypto community. There's also some affiliate links down there that really help support the channel. Another announcement I wanted to make is that my wife's webpage is finally up selling crypto merch. Definitely check it out. I'll show you that real quick in the beginning. And there's also another thing I want to talk about. As you guys know, I, I talked about it before getting emails from all kinds of people wanting to sponsor the channel. And I never really looked into anything. Nothing really caught my eye. But one has caught my eye, and that's Baidao. And I'll talk about that here real quick before we start the video, too. So, yeah, stick around. It ought to be interesting, guys. All right, guys, as always, I want to start out by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anybody that's doing any trading or investing in this market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research as this market is extremely volatile and risky. Also, keep in mind, it's still a speculative market. Do not put in more than you're willing to lose. With that being said, um, I did want to show you guys real quick my wife's webpage. It is inkerimage.com. I will leave a link to that below also. <clears throat> excuse me and um, if you check in here there is quite a bit of stuff she's got t-shirts hats coffee mugs and uh, beer koozies she will be adding more she's totally new to this guys so have patience if you're ordering stuff on here and there's any difficulties uh, there hasn't been yet but just keep that in mind and we also accept Bitcoin so there is here's the signs if you guys I've been watching, you know, I'm doing a giveaway of the signs, your choice between one of these two aluminum signs here. And um, I will be doing a drawing on Sunday. So make sure you leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and give it a giant thumbs up. That'll get you entered to win on any video from Monday till this Sunday. Sunday will be the, the drawing. I'll pick a, a random comment from one of the videos throughout the week and that will pick the winner. Wow. The other thing I wanted to talk about was Baidao. Um, like I said, I get emails about, um, you know, people wanting to sponsor the channel, and I never really look into it, but this one kind of caught my eye, um, and I heard Data Dash and Zombie talking about it. It actually seems pretty interesting. Um, it is it is in the ICO right now. It is, um, you know, it's a token sale running right now before it's actually started. So um, it's moved quite a bit. It was back here when I started looking at it. And like I said, I started digging deeper into it. It's gonna be integra integrated in the Binance ecosystem. It's uh, similar to MakerDAO. If anybody's familiar with MakerDAO, similar to that, but a little bit better because you can actually stake on it. Um, a lot of people are getting into staking now, which is, you know, it's a passive income. It's a, it's a good, it's a good passive income, or it could be a good passive income. But I did want to show you MakerDAO back here in November was around three hundred dollars. Um, we got up in July up to around eight hundred, back down to about five hundred and thirty-nine. So it's still up, you know, seventy-five percent. I just, you know, MakerDAO seems to be doing really well. I think Baidao is going to do really well also. Um, yeah, MakerDAO is up, you know, a hundred times, so you never know what could happen. So I'm going to start getting a little more into different parts of the market and kind of, kind of spread out a little bit, even though my main thing, as everybody knows, is Bitcoin and Litecoin. But like I said, I want to start looking into some other stuff, maybe some passive income. Um, it has a lot of interesting things. A lot of people, it's been featured in TED, Forbes, Business Insider, HuffPost, um, pretty interesting. The CEO, uh, he is a three times Apple student scholarship winner. I guess they give that out, um, uh, I think to a hundred students a year and he got it three times. That's pretty impressive. Definitely get on here. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Check it out. Um, good videos to watch. It'll, it'll give you more idea what this is all about. As you guys know, I'm not really into the technical stuff. So 
mostly into analysis. But like I said, I'm starting to try to spread my wings and learn a little bit more about what's going on in the inside. Um, Brian Condonanza, he is the CTO, and he is a speaker at TEDx. Um, that's another video you definitely want to watch and check out. This is a decentralized finance is what it is, a DeFi, um, like MakerDAO. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out was the staking. And if we look in the white paper, actually, one more thing is another thing I've seen, Binance retweeted it. Um, Bidow is a fully integrated with the Binance ecosystem. Bidow will be issuing the first die typed DeFi token on Binance chain, Binance.dex. This also means that BNB has another use case. So by Binance retweeting it, sounds a lot like it's gonna be straight on Binance. So definitely something to watch out for. And this is the CTO's Twitter. He's got 580 plus subscribe or 580,000 subscribers. So, you know, and go through it. If you know, do a little research on him. Definitely do your own research, guys. I've been doing mine and I'm I'm most likely this weekend I'm gonna be getting into it and I'll let you guys know. Um, but they do have the white paper on there. You can read through the white paper also they have a um legal experts already supporting it so i mean it seems like a pretty legit project guys of course anything is risky as we all know in the crypto space anything and everything in the crypto space is risky but like i said i'm spreading my wings trying to get into it a little more and if we look here we go down in the white paper definitely check it out guys read the white paper it gives you a you know a better idea of what it's all about so let's see, uh, what I wanted to show you was the staking. Um, to get in early right now, the staking, the first phase, the quarter three of 2019 is 50%. If you get in at phase two, it's 30%, which is quarter four, 2019. Phase three is quarter one, 2020, 18%. So definitely, a, and it, you know, how to power stake, if you're wondering, it's pretty easy. It's just, um, all you have to do is keep your bid tokens in your wallet. Uh, without transferring them and now when I get into it this weekend, I'll do another video tomorrow I'll show you the wallet and how it works, but uh, yeah, definitely something you guys might want to check out Like I said could turn out like maker now and again everything's risky, but definitely worth a shot. So Let's move on. I'm gonna get out of this and we are gonna take a look at the charts All right, so Bitcoin not a whole lot going on guys. It's still still in this area that we've been watching forever this green area that i've been talking about that i really don't care about um what i care about is the break and i do believe we're going to be doing a break up from this bull flag that we've been watching forever now um let's go into the in a little bit closer here and take a look i know everybody's looking at this as a descending triangle i am not i'm still looking at it as a bull flag guys um, and yesterday when I did my video, I had said if we popped above this 9948 and got support, it was going to be looking pretty good. And we did manage to do that. So I still have this target down here at 9057. And that is looking at this as an ABC, the measured move. I actually did that wrong. But actually the measured move would be more down here for that. Let me put a target in there right about here, 90, 93.69 area. I'm gonna get rid of this 9,000. I believe the 90, 93.85 should hold if we get down that far. Um, I'm not saying that we have to. I wanna look at the RSI. For our RSI, we were looking at this falling wedge, which we popped out of here, came into another falling broadening wedge, popped out of it a little bit here, kind of like a bull trap, back down, retested the top. I do believe it's possible that we come down and retest the top of this again. And that would get us back down to around the 90, 9950 range, um, which was our old target back there. If we don't get support at the 9950, then I'd be looking towards the 9385 range. But um, in my opinion, most likely we're gonna get support here. I do believe we could possibly have an explosive weekend. Um, we were looking at this as an inverse head and shoulders with a neckline of 10,930. 
if that is the break, guys, the measured move of that is the measurement of the head up to the neckline, $12,500 range. Um, I do have some higher targets. If we are to continue up and break out of this bull flag, which I believe we're going to here in the near future, um, let's go into the daily. We'll look at the RSI on the daily also and what I've been looking at. So the daily, we've been watching this falling channel that we popped out of, came back down once, twice, tested for support. Question is, are we going to come down one more time? I'm going to put another... Looks like another falling broadening wedge forming there on this. We could come back down to test this for support, this long-term trend line on the RSI. Um, let's look at that in the price action. That would bring us down to that 9,300 9, range. Maybe not even that far. That might be that 9,900 might get us there. Uh, but anyways, yeah. 93.85 guys if we went lower than that then i would start to look more bearish but as of right now like i said i believe we are gonna pop up here look at the volume the volume within within this bull flag has just been rapidly declining guys it's definitely on a decline here and that just signals a big move coming and i believe in my opinion it's going to be a big move up the measured move of the break of this flag guys is 14,600 that's the measured move of just looking at the the bull flag as a falling channel now if we take a measured move measuring this as the bull flag that would get us up to and we may see this break this weekend guys i think there's a good chance of it actually i know people are saying the 23rd because of backed and whatnot but i think a lot of people are going to get taken by surprise again guys this is just my opinion but i do believe it's possible so it's going to be around the 17,000 range that measured move there and the bigger measured move we'll take a look at in the bigger time frame let's go to the weekly and we'll take a look at what I've been looking at. As you guys know, in the RSI, I've been talking about this for quite some time. Uh, for over a month, I know for sure. But anyway, the weekly RSI is on a falling broadening wedge. And if we look at that against the price action, we're making higher lows in the price action, lower lows in the RSI. Again, we've been following this and talking about this for well over a month. Um, I'm starting to see other people talk about it now. Well, you've seen it here first. So... I did say if we had to close out of this that it was very bullish. We did close out of this, and I do believe, like I said, we are going to continue up. I do believe it's very bullish, um, especially on the weekly with the hidden bullish divergence. Now, the bigger one, bigger move, looking at this as the bull flag, come up to the breakout. If we are able to break the top of this around the 10,600 range, my target is around 20,000 right around $20,000, which is the old all-time high. Um, I do have some higher targets, guys, and my end of the year, 46,000. Take a look at my prior videos to see how I got that. We're gonna take a look at Litecoin. Taking a look at Litecoin on the four hour. Look at the RSI first. We're looking at this as a rising wedge. I do believe it's possible. We're gonna come back down for one more test down at the bottom here, and then another move, another push up. Um, if the bottom of this RSI trend line breaks, then we're going to have a more bearish move. But let's look at what I'm looking at right now. All right, so I still have this target up here at $81. We hit our target of 73, hit our target of 76. The next target is at 81.57. Now, how I got that, let me show you. That is looking at this falling channel here where he broke out from the falling channel and that is the 8150 range that's where i get this target here um the next target would be looking at this blue line this top line which i think we could come back down and test for support that's where i get the 70 dollar range but a, the break of that the measured move off that guys is 92 which also lines up with this long-term trend line i have this blue one here off of these wicks down here so that does coincide looks good so far guys i know a lot of people are super bearish right now um, i'm not one of them people i haven't been 
Um, I have not changed my view on this market since I started making videos for you guys in November. So let's look at uh, this. If this becomes an ABC here, correction before our next move up, measure move off that is around the $70 range, which would line up with this bottom trend line here and this blue top of the falling broadening wedge trend line, which would be around 70 around 70 bucks. If it does go below that, then we'll start talking about lower targets. But as of now, I do believe that's probably the lowest we go here and continue up. And as you can see, let's go into the daily. Look at some bigger targets here. On the daily, I'd been watching this. I do have these lower targets down here if these break, but I don't think they're gonna break. So we'll take a look at that if they do break, guys. Um, and I don't suggest day trading in this area. There's a lot of wicks, guys. They're wicking the shit out of people. So anyways, uh, this is the top resistance line, bottom support line, falling broadening wedge. The measured move of that falling broadening wedge, guys, is the width of the widest part of the wedge where it broke out. We put it up to the breakout. That gets us around the $170 range. Um, I do have a bigger target and a, another pattern that I'm following. We've been following this for quite some time. This being a cup, this being a handle with the neckline, get out of the way now, with the neckline uh, around 146. And the measured move off of that would be measuring the cup up to the neckline. If we are to break that 146 area, we are looking for $270 range. now over to the weekly and I'm not going to go over this all again just go back in my prior videos but these are my targets possible target for the end of the year $581 so if you guys enjoyed the video definitely don't forget to click the crypto savvy logo above my head that'll get you subscribed tick the notification bell smash the likes that'll all also get you entered to win the free aluminum sign and let me know in the comments below what you think about Baidao. Um, it is interesting to me. I am curious to see what you guys think of it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.